So, could I ask everyone to please stand for the entrance of our bride? <laughs> Matthew and Catherine, I'd like to welcome you all here to the Abbey Gate in Bury St Edmunds and also to whoever is watching in the Philippines, please give them a wave. For this very special occasion, their wedding day, please be seated. My name is Anthea Telford and I will be conducting today's ceremony and the marriage will be recorded by my colleague, Sarah Daisley. And together, we represent the Suffolk Registration Service. Firstly, I have to inform you that the place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. We are gathered here today to witness the joining in matrimony of two people, Matthew John Pitcher and Catherine Vin Vinas. Yes. So if any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, it should be declared now. I could hear a pin drop. <laughs> Matthew and Catherine, today you will exchange vows of marriage which will unite you as husband and wife. These vows are a formal pledge of your love and a promise of lifelong commitment to each other. Before you're joined in matrimony, it is my duty to remind you of the solemn bind and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. So, before you make your vows to each other, you must first make a declaration to the effect that there is nothing in law to prevent you marrying each other. If you are free to marry, you should reply, I am, to the question I am about to put to you. And I'll start with the groom, Matthew. Are you, Matthew John Pitcher, free lawfully to marry Catherine Vinyas? I am. And are you, Catherine Vinyas, free lawfully to marry Matthew John Pitcher? I am. Excellent. Okay, don't go two pages. Matthew and Catherine will now make a statement of commitment... It is a lifelong promise that they are making to each other today. So if you pop your flowers down, turn and face each other and join hands. And when I ask you each if you're willing to make this commitment, you should reply, I do. You have gathered around you those whom you care for most, and we have other people looking on from afar. You invited those people here to receive their encouragement, support and to celebrate with you on this very special day. So I ask you now, in the presence of this company, Matthew, do you take Catherine to be your wife? Do you promise to be loving, loyal, and faithful to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. And Catherine, do you take Matthew to be your husband? 
do you promise to be loving, loyal, and faithful to him for the rest of your lives together? I do. Excellent. So, Matthew and Catherine, the time has come for you both to make your marriage vows to each other to become husband and wife. The vows of marriage should not be taken lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, with a deep understanding of their obligations and responsibilities. So, although you will be repeat the words after me you are very much saying them to each other and again Matthew I'll ask you to go first please repeat after me I Matthew John Pitcher I Matthew John Pitcher take you Catherine Vinyas take you Catherine Vinyas to be my wedded wife to be my wedded wife and now Catherine I Catherine Vinyas I Catherine Vinyas take you Matthew John Pitcher take you Matthew Chan Pitcher. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Excellent. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> we have now come to the long tradition that when two people commit themselves in marriage, that they seal that commitment with the giving and receiving of rings. A wedding ring is an unbroken circle, symbolising unending and everlasting love. And it's the outward sign of the promises and commitments you have made to each other today. So, do we have Ben and Dan? Come on up. <laughs> right. So, I believe Ben has Catherine's ring. Would you like to hand it to Matthew, please? Okay. So, Matthew, if you'd like to place that ring on the third finger of Catherine's left hand. Okay, yeah, that's nearly there. And while holding it, if you say to her, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and affection. As a symbol of my love and affection. My commitment and respect. My commitment and respect. Now and always. Now and always. Okay, so if you can hand Matthew's ring to Catherine. Thank you. Thank you, Ben and Dan. Your work is done for now. Okay, so. And say to him, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and affection. As a symbol of my love and affection. My commitment and respect. My commitment and respect. Now and always. Now and always. Thank you. Is that all the way on? Yeah. Excellent. Matthew and Catherine, you have both made the declarations required by law and have made a binding contract with each other in the presence of your assembled guests. Your marriage ceremony today has given your family and friends the opportunity to meet together to celebrate your happiness and to impart your message of love and commitment. And so it therefore gives me the greatest pleasure and it's my privilege to pronounce that you're now husband and wife and you may kiss your bride. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, we just have one more very important job, which is for our couple to sign the official paperwork. So if you'd like to remain in your seats for a few more minutes, and if the two of you would like to come and take a seat. Matthew and Catherine, thank you for allowing Sarah and I to play a very small part in your very big day. We wish you every happiness. And just remember, it doesn't matter where you go in life or what you do or what you have. It's who you have beside you that really counts. So can I ask everyone to please stand? And congratulate the new Mr. and Mrs. Pitcher. Thank you.